What's up, nerds? So I just finished Penguin, episode four. And I have to say, uh, this episode was pretty good. I want to say also that, because some people say I don't like this show, and that is false. I do like this show. I'm just, like I said before, I'm hesitant to love this show. But I decided before going into this episode that I was going to take a step back and just realize that this is not a traditional Batman show in terms of like, obviously there's no Batman and this isn't the penguin from the comic book. So I took a step back and I was like, why don't I just try to enjoy the show for what it is, you know, and stop looking for things that aren't there. And I was like, okay. And I do realize that this is not a penguin in traditional sense of the word, but this is more like a mobster kind of show uh, like the Sopranos. And I did like The Sopranos. So, therefore, why am I stopping myself from enjoying this show 100%? So, uh, so I did like this episode. And I'll tell you right now, I don't know the girl that plays Sophia Falcone, but she is a really good actress. I, she's got the eyes. Her eyes are really, like, very, like, uh, uh, um, hypnotizing. I'm just like, man. So... This episode was basically her episode, and I liked that. We got a lot of backstory, uh, and I liked that. I, I, I mean, I was kind of like, we didn't get very much of, of Oz Wald Cobblepot in here, or Cobb, his name isn't Cobblepot, but we didn't get too much of him this episode. In fact, we got just one little scene with him in it, but, oh no, we didn't, we got, he was in the flashbacks. Anyways, but I did, I did like seeing Sophia and her story and getting that whole thing. And then, you know, moving forward. So I'm going to break this sucker down. It won't take too much time because it was basically focused on Arkham Asylum. Um, but uh, going to break this sucker down and just tell you my thoughts on the whole situation. And uh, and then we'll I'll, I'll tell you, finish my thoughts on the other side. All right, here we go. Okay, so in these flashbacks, Sophia learns from a reporter that Carmine, her father, is suspected of being the hangman which is uh, the serial killer who strangles and hangs women. And her mother had died from similar methods when she was a child. And she found her mother after she had supposedly uh, ended herself. And so she is desperate for answers. So Sophia meets with this reporter privately. And I got, I mean, I, I totally like, was like, you know, this whole time I was like, I get it that she wants answers about her mother. Uh, I totally get that. Uh, but I did. I was like, I was like, man, you shouldn't have met with this reporter because, you know, and if you did, you should have done it way more secretively and maybe not have Oz there because Oz is, is no good. No bueno. Uh, but I did. I did like that. She wanted to know more about what was going on. But she was like, I'm not going to betray my my family, you know. And blood is thicker than water, hooker. Uh, but I did, I did like that. Plus, I did want to just be all like, Sweet Pea, you've got like the, the reporter. I was like, You have very su su um, uh, substantial evidence. Like, like, you know, I'm just like, I, I don't think this is enough. Like, you have nobody to blame this on. You're just saying it's Carmine Falcone and everything. Uh, other than that, you like, other, I mean, they, she had the reports and stuff, but like it was not enough to to convict, in my opinion. I'm no legal expert. I'm just saying. Um, but I also did like that uh, when they showed the flashbacks, how she had found her mother uh, and uh, like she had kind of put two and two together with her dad and like all the, the markings and stuff. So then Oz, he totally tells Carmine about what went down, who then he, so Carmine then, he like totally retaliates uh, Sophia by framing her for all of those female murders and everything. And then he has her committed to Arkham Asylum, which is horrifying to Alberto and Oz. So then because she met with the reporter and she just met with the reporter and then she did, but she did tell her dad, she's all like, you know, did you do something? I know you didn't, but, you know, and I'm all like, sweet pea, you just talk too much. And that's the problem with bitches sometimes. They don't know when to shut the fuck up. Uh, because then he's all like, because she's all like, because she mentioned, she's like, you had a scratch on your hand that night. And I go, you shouldn't have said that. You don't say, if you suspect your daddy of murdering, you don't tell him you suspect him of murdering. You just say, hey, I didn't, uh, I didn't say anything. I told her, you know, to fuck off. And that was it, she, you know, and I can tell you all the stuff that she had, but it looked like nonsense to me. 
but you know, so then he he totally gets us thrown in the slammer, right? And that shit, I was like, man, that's hardcore. You did that to your daughter. I was like, man, I don't think I could ever be mad at my daughter enough to where I'd have her committed. <laughs> I mean, maybe if she was really crazy, I probably you can't say the crazy word. Uh, but then maybe I'd have her committed, but not not because you know of this. But you know, what are you gonna do? So though she at first is confined to Arkham for only six months. Carmine uh, Falcone gets her a stay extended to 10 whole years in there. And this part, I was like, man, that's crappy. Like her brother comes to visit her and he's all like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry and everything. And I was like, man, that sucks. And and because she when she goes in there, she gets all these letters from all these family members, which I'll talk about later, but about how she they've all noticed how she's crazy, you know, after yet for finding her mother, you know, uh, dead that she's basically been crazy. And one person said something about how she has a thing for killing animals. And I was like, man, these people went hardcore on the lies like they weren't even trying to defend her. I was like, that is sad. So sad. She is constantly mocked by the other inmates in Arkham Asylum. While her doctor, this Ventress guy, he subjects her to electroshock therapy, which looks totally hardcore, not interested in my personal opinion. And though um, Ventress is his like little sidekick, um, his associate guy, Dr. Uh, Julian Rush, he eventually realizes that Sophia is innocent and he decides to quit uh, his position because what they're doing is uh, no good. So I guess it's it's I guess it's like a. A little bit of a comfort, I guess, that the 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 Julian, the, the little hotty patati, I'll tell you what, uh, that he was all like, maybe we're wrong. Cause they get they just keep putting her through that electric shock therapy. I'm like, that shit looks so not fun. The, like, like if it was if that was me, I'd be like, this doesn't feel good at all. So um, so she's all like, she's getting electrocuted, she's getting this one, like, you know, dyke looking bitch, all like yelling like you kill those girls and everything say it and i'm all like you need to get up out my face and everything and that 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 tall chick beats the shit out of her and then the magpie chick uh you know she keeps and she's got an annoying voice the magpie chick and we do see the bliss that we saw from the last episode in here because they give it to some of the inmates and everything although it makes their their mouth all like blood red and i was like ew that's gross i don't like it so the mental and the physical strain eventually leads to Sophia like having a complete breakdown, right? And she ends up murdering her friend and cellmate Magpie. So after she learns that she's going to be stuck in there for a decade, right? Then she comes out to the table and Magpie's all like, you know, she's like, I'm going to be here forever or some crap. I can't remember. And the magpie's all like, oh, you, you're going to be friends with me forever. Maybe they'll give you candy. That's what she calls the bliss candy. And that's when Sophia, she's just like, she's fucking had it. She's like, you can just see the, you can just see the, the, the switch, the light switch go off. And she's just all like, are you working for them? Which I can't say that magpie is working for them or not because she's crazy. And she, I don't think that she did anything that would help the doctors in making her think that she was like working with Falcone. But at this point in time, Sophia is just, you know, she's just had enough. Like it's six months, six months looked rough. I wonder what the 10 years look like, you know, and they were eating that slop that just looked like nastiness. I was like, man, I was like, you can't, you can't feed them any vegetables or maybe the vegetables were blended in there. I don't know. It just looked like, it just looked like, like black beans, just, mush which i do like black beans anyways but so and i i i, I don't know if she murdered magpie i mean magpie's eyes were open but i'm all like maybe she was just stunned if she did murder her magpie is from the comic books um i do think that they could have not like i don't mind that they 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 killed off a b level villain magpie's not that huge in the comic books so that it doesn't bother me it's just i always i always go like you know, why would you waste a good a, a good possible cameo villain, you know, in your movie or another show? Um, maybe this was it, the cameo. But at the same time, I'm all like, you know, it might be nice to get Magpie to work with Catwoman, you know, and do a little robbery robbery. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, just throwing it out there. Um, so maybe Magpie's not dead. She just looked dead to me because she was like all bloody and her eyes were open. And it reminded me of the scene from long legs where he's just smashing his face into the table. And I'm all like, and he died from that. So I'm like, maybe she died, but not right away. I'm not sure. 
So now in the present, Sophia uh, was extracted from the, the scene with Nadia and her henchmen. And she just got done learning from Nadia that Oz murdered Alberto and was basically betraying the Falcon family. So Sophia decides that she can't trust anybody. And I did like this part with the doctor where she's all like, you know, she try, basically is all like the doctor. She's all like, oh, you wanted to, oh, you want to fuck me, huh? But you can take advantage of that shit and you could have. She like gets all up in his lips. I'm like, oh, just kiss him. Um, but, uh, but they don't, they don't kiss or whatever. She's like, I'm going to live my life the way I want to or some crap. I don't remember exactly what she said. She didn't tell him like, Hey, you want to fuck me kind of thing. But, uh, she did say something, you know, sexy, I guess. And then, um, and then, uh, and then she's like, I'm going to live my life the way I want. And she goes off and, uh, prepares herself. So that night she unleashes this gas after dinner in the Falcone mansion. Right. And that wipes out the complete falcone family like leadership right which includes luca her uncle but she does spare uh gia the little girl which was her cousin's uh little daughter or whatnot which i was happy about that and she also spares Vidi, who she wakes up and she's probably going to get him to work for her. and that's the end of the episode but i just want to say like okay so as far as this goes a i liked the dinner scene because i like the fact that she she gave a speech and she was like, none of you helped me. You let me go into Arkham and be treated like that. And I loved you and I thought you loved me and you let me go in there and suffer for that shit. And I was like, you know what? She's right. Uh, I, and she's like, you even wrote letters and lied. And I was like, you know what, Sophia, you're right. These motherfuckers, blood is thicker than water. And you were blood. I would, I personally, if, if, if I was in that situation, I'd be like, listen, I'm not going to write a letter. I'm not going to do it. And I probably would have gone, like, if my family member was ever in the hospital, especially, like, somebody really close, I'd probably go see them. Uh, like, you know, like, if, if, especially if it was a sibling. If it was a sibling, I'd be there probably every or every other day just to say, hey, I love you, and I'm still here and everything. But, yeah, they they just, like, left her out to dry, you know. It was, that was sad. But then she she makes a toast, and then she sets off some kind of gas. What gas? I have no idea what it is. But she takes uh, Gia, the little girl. She takes her out to the greenhouse. And she's like, I got a big piece of chocolate cake for you. because." Uh, and then she's like, uh, we're going to go eat it in the greenhouse. Don't tell your mom. I just want to say also, the dress that Sophia wears, this, this like, yellowish green dress, it looked fucking terrible. Whoever picked that dress for her, gosh, not only did she look like a big whore, but uh, the belly part made her look pregnant. I was like, this is not a flattering dress. I mean, the titties looked great. Her titties looked awesome from like, from like, like, like the, the midriff up was good, but the bottom half, it just made her look preggers. Like, like from the titties up, there we go. It looked good, but the titties down, it just looked, I was like, oh, honey. I was like, what are you, what are you, six months? <laughs> um, so anyway, so she spares the little girl, which I was happy about that. Cause I was like, okay, she's not a complete monster, you know, uh, killing a bunch of people is, is, is bad, but she's not a complete fucking, you know, terrible person. And she sets off this gas and she goes through the whole house and she, you see all these dead people, all the dead, dead family members, including the henchmen, which I guess she kind of had to kill the security guards too. Cause she couldn't just like spare them. I mean, like how would she do that? But she did, uh, they all, they all died. And, um, which I guess, I don't know, like, we didn't get to see it, but maybe, no, they had to have known because some of them, their eyes were open. And then, um, and then she, uh, she, she goes to BD's room where she left the window open and she's all like, uh, Hey, we got to talk. And like I said, that was the end of the episode. And I really, I thought that this episode was good. I don't think it was as good as the last episode. But I did like it. I thought it was good. Like I said, the girl that plays Sophia Falcone is doing a fantastic job. Uh, this episode was definitely obviously her episode. I don't think we'll get another episode like this. But this is definitely more like a Penguin Sophia show, not just a Penguin show. And I have to say that the writing is definitely good. Um, I, there, I've i never had a problem with the writings. Like I've always said, my biggest problem is I just wish it had more of a connection to the comic books in terms of like, like 
Like, I wish that, like, they had Magpie and Arkham Asylum in here. But let's be honest with you. Uh, let's be honest about it. It really wasn't the the Arkham that we know. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, maybe, but it was still good. I'm not complaining about it. I'm not in, and I still, like, I give this episode out of, what What do you do? Like, it's out of 10 stars. I would give this episode a solid, uh, like, eight, you know, uh, because it wasn't about Penguin. And I feel like if you're going to name your show Penguin, it needs to be about Penguin. But a solid a 8.5. It was good. It was good. Um, yeah, I would say episode three was my favorite. And then maybe this episode was was were definitely good. So um, I can't wait till next week. Uh, you know, I'm not like excited about it, but I am, you know, ready to watch it. I do also wish this was a binge. I know that HBO doesn't do it that way, but I do wish it was a binge because I would like to just I just would like to to nail these suckers out, you know, and just then bam, 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 you know? <laughs> all right. That's all I got for you guys. But tell me what you guys thought about this episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What was your favorite part? Did you just love seeing Sophia and her backstory? She's got the crazy eyes, you know? Um, did you find Magpie annoying like I did? Or did you just find her charming? I don't know if you could find her charming or not. But tell me what you guys thought. Tell me where you guys think this is going to lead. And uh, yeah, but I will see you guys on my next episode. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video going at that but you know i won't mind if you're my channel please hit that subscribe button i greatly appreciate it. and i will see you guys on my next penguin breakdown review you guys have a good week bye